Hello, I'm John Eros and welcome to a short explanation video about how building groups work. Uh, I've read on Discord that some people don't know uh, how about, uh, about selecting build groups uh, and making a big mess with uh, build groups. Now, the reason that I'm in my sandbox zoo is that uh, my uh, sandbox zoo also has some groups cluttered, cluttered together. For example, the uh, entry building uh, has the same group as the flooring of uh, the fountains. And the reason, because I copied uh, a part of the floor that I was reusing for the fountain, but I did not unselect the group and make it into a new group. So for example, if I enter the group, let's not click on the release button on the actual concrete floor. This is part of the group that's stuck on the main building. So what I can do is drag part of it and uh, separate it from the group. Select the door too. You can uh, press control and click on the items you want to display. Anyway, this is now a new uh, building group. And uh, you can copy this part without the other part. Another example is here. Uh, the building group is only uh, the green hedges and not the flowers. So what I can do is uh, press I to look uh, from above and uh, select everything. Okay, so when you look from it above, when I select everything here, it has now the flowers and the group that we have of the hedges, because all the flowers are without a group. And now when I uh, merge it into the group, it's now merged together, and this whole bit is one. Uh, so, uh, when you create a group, uh, I'll open the construction. Uh, when you place any grid piece, so that means uh, any type of wall or building, that's gonna create a, a, grid, a grid piece. Because it's a grid piece, it's automatically a blue. It opens here in the right top corner of my screen, editing group number 1393. So when I uh, this group, I can already add non grid pieces to it, like this one. Or uh, I can add a beam to it and paint that in a color I want so you can do all the nice tricks after it and because this is a group I can select it in the group and when I'm in and when I'm double click one of the items in the group I can select the items copy it and because I have a gridded piece I can now turn it around and then you have here yourself your group. So if you copy that one, you can do the trick with the rotating it. But what you also have when you have a non gridded piece, it doesn't automatically uh, turn it into group. So one piece, two piece. When you have two pieces, you can select both pieces and then you can create it into a group yourself and when you double click the group or double click one of the items in the group then you open the new group where these two items are in so when I build stuff now it's gonna be 
in this group. And that way you can uh, yeah, manage how you uh, how you copy your things. Uh, for example, uh, this bridge I built and I merged it all into one piece. So I can just copy it and move it to all the pieces my bridge was needed. So that's why grouping everything in sync uh, as uh, pieces as it is. Uh, moving it around makes it easy. Uh, the wall like this, I made a big piece and I planted on that. And that piece I moved around and copied to other places. So that's why the separating is useful. And then you can create stuff like all the big guys and all the pros. I hope I covered everything. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.